Hello everyone. Today we will see how to register XSIP via BSC Star MF. To register XSIP via BSC Star MF, go to System Mining Investment, XSIP ISIP, XSIP ISIP Registration. Now this is your XSIP ISIP Registration form. First, enter the client code, element type. In that you can find two options L1 and others. You can select L1 if you want to do SIP of your investor 2 lakhs or more than 2 lakhs amount. You can select others if you want to do the SIP of less than 2 lakh amount. So let's say in this case I will select others. Select transaction mode, demat of physical. Now enter the keyword of the scheme name. For example, over here, if I want to search the scheme, I will enter a unique keyword of the scheme name. Let's take an, let's take an example. Uh, let's say Aditya Villa Frontline Equity. So I will enter Frontline over here. Okay. Similarly, there is another scheme of Aditya Villa Focus Equity. So I will just, just enter Focus over here. Okay. So you have to enter any unique keyword to search the scheme. So RTA code, ISIN number will be fetched by the system automatically. Internal reference number you can leave it as blank. Folio number you can enter it or you cannot enter it. It is an optional field. Suppose if if you want that uh, this SAP must be continuing in, uh, in an existing folio, then you can enter the folio number as well. If you want that uh, investor want that as they want to create a new folio for this SAP, then you can leave folio number as blank. Select frequency type monthly or quarterly mention the amount you can see the range of the amount is already provided minimum 1000 maximum 1 lakh 99999 so let me mention 1000 over here select registration type as xsip select the mandate id remember in the drop down box only those mandate ID which are registered or those mandate ID which are already approved by the bank will show over here. Rejected mandate ID will not show over here. Select frequency allow as rolling. So you will get the available SIP dates of this scheme. So as you can see for this scheme 1 to till, uh, till 28th is available of the month. Now the next field is generate first order today. Now if you want that from today only the SIP should be triggered then you can select this option generate first order today and then you have to give start date after 30 days. So in this case let's say today is 13 August. So I will start counting 30 days from tomorrow. So uh, I can give start date after 11 September or I can give 12 September as well okay so there should be gap of 30 days between first order as well as start date if in that uh, in case if you are uh, uh, not selecting generate first order today then the first thing my system will check that the particular mandate which you had selected is approved or not if it is not approved then my system will not allow you to register the SIP without first order today. If the mandate ID is already approved, then in that case, my system will allow you to register the SIP and you can start the SIP as soon as possible. Uh, for example, you can start the SIP by giving the gap of 8 working days. Okay, if you are not selecting general first order today, then you can start the SIP in the gap of 8 working days. So. Uh, today is 13 so here Friday is one working day 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so I can give start date of 25th August or uh, after that date also so let me select 25th August over here okay and uh, let me say that I, I will select generate first order today okay I will give start date after 30 days I will mention the instrument amount let's say 30 so end date will capture automatically 
UN number, make sure to mention your UN number as well and then click on save. Okay, so you get this accept registration number 10119278. Now let's check whether this accept has been registered successfully or not. If you want to cross verify whether this accept has been registered successfully or not. So there is a report available. Let's check that also. Now the report is available under daily downloads, XSIP, XSIP registration report. Now over here you can search the uh, entire SIP details of your member ID. You can give the date range of from date uh, by giving from date and to date. As well as if you want to search for a particular client then you can provide client code as well. So now let's say I will register one SAP today so I will not change the date over here and I will simply just click on view. So it will show me then on today's date how many SAPs have been registered under my member code. So you, have, you can see only one SAP has been registered under my member code. These are the SAP details I am getting. Okay. Now in the first column you can see it is a status column and under that it is showing pend new. It means that I have registered the SIP but investor has not authenticated the SIP yet. So investor have to authenticate this SIP otherwise this SIP will not activate. So let's see how to authenticate the XSIP order. Now to authenticate the XSIP investor will receive uh, SMS from BAC star MF as well as they will receive an email also from BAC star MF. So they can authenticate via SMS as well as via email. So you can see the SMS format in front of the screen. So investor have to click on this link and then they will land up to the authentication page. Okay, And let me show you the email format as well. So this is the email format. Now in this also they will receive a link to authenticate the XSIP. So investor will click on this link online authentication. Uh, they will uh, they'll see this XSIP details over here okay, with the scheme name, amount, units, frequency type and they have to select this checkbox to authenticate and click on save. So in this way investor can authenticate the XSIP. Remember the deadline to authenticate the XSIP is 11 59 pm on t day so if i am initiating the xsip order in market hours so my investor has a deadline to authenticate this order by 11 59 pm on t day and suppose if i am initiating the xsip order after market hours let's say after 1 pm on 13 august then my investor has deadline to authenticate the xsip till 14 august 11 59 pm Okay, so unless until if investor will not authenticate the XSIP, XSIP will not uh, activate. Now in fact in XSIP registration report also you can see the status has been changed to active. Suppose if investor will not authenticate before the deadline then the status will show over here as auto CXL. It means that your investor has not authenticated the XSIP before deadline and then you have to uh, register the XSIP again. Also remember once the investor will authenticate the XSIP then only they will receive the payment link for the first order of the SIP. Okay, so let's see that also. So now as you can see on the screen for the first order of the, uh, first order of the SIP I have received the payment link also. Okay, so I will click on this link and make the payment for the first order. Remember the option which are selected generate first order generate first order today funds will not debit automatically from the investor account only in case of first order. Okay, So investor has to click on this uh, payment link and make the payment manually. They can make the payment via net banking also they can make the payment via one time mandate also if it was already approved by the bank. But in case if they will not make the payment for the first order then only the first order will remain invalid and the, uh, but the entire X, uh, XSIP will remain valid. So 
from the next month or the uh, from the next installment the funds will start deducting automatically from the bank account subject to the mandate was already approved by the bank okay so in this way you can register the xsip for uh, for your investor via bsc starmap website thank you for watching